So, okay guys, in the last tutorial we learned how we can use VS Code, download it and use it to create our first website. But in this tutorial we are going to be introducing ourselves to more tags and how we use them. So sit tight and enjoy. So I'm going to be removing this. And actually not the top one because it's gonna say okay this document is HTML so ignore this and let's continue so I can add my HTML tag and say HTML so we added our HTML tag now we can have as much as possible tags in our HTML tag like head tag body tags body tags so as much as possible so HTML does not care about white spaces between tags it doesn't matter so you can just leave it like this then in the tag I would add my title so I had the title tag you see my website website and body I can say hello world so once I reload you can see I have my website and hello world so that is how it basically works so now I'm going to remove hello world and I'll be introducing some other tags now, I'm going to be introducing into the H tags we have the H1 H2 H3 H h4 h5 up to h6 so the higher the number the smaller the tag so i have h1 i can say my page and i can say h2 so you see my page and i can say h6 let's use h6 so you can see the difference so i can see my page So you can see the difference between these three, these three um, um, tags. That you have the H1. The H1 is the biggest. Like it shows displays on the screen. Now, wow, this tag here is the header. This tag here is the header. The H2 is the subtitle. The H6 can just be used as the mere sentence construction. So, for, uh, for just mere sentence um, construction. So you can see how these three tags basically works now if we were to add a paragraph to our HTML page sorry I had um, a less than symbol there if we, have, if we were to add a paragraph to our page we we'll use the P tag the P tag is very easy to use so you can just say this is a paragraph so we have paragraph that is a paragraph so we can copy this very easy and say duplicate duplicate and duplicate so you see there are equal lines and spaces each of them starting on a new line making it easy to read so this is how paragraphs are created in our HTML now in a situation whereby this paragraph is going to be part of the tag, but due to screen size is overlapping or something else, and we want our paragraph to begin on a new line. What tag do we use? It's actually a tag for that, and it's a self-closing tag, which is called the BR tag. The BR tag is a self-closing tag in as much that you put open your your um, symbols greater than less than symbol, put your closing slash and add your PR. So you can see that we have this is a paragraph, and our paragraph begins on a new line with equal spaces between the paragraphs. So that's how we have um, our our um, new line beginner or line break. You can call it a line break 
or you can call it the B outer a line break it gives you a line break so next if you had a particular content and you say okay we want this content to show to be more bold than the rest of the content on the, on the page so that's very easy and very simple to do I'm just going to copy this cut this rather and I'll add the strong tag the strong tags make your 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 content very bold so if you can see you see that the paragraph is more bold than any of the other contents appearing on the page that's because it's in the strong tag so like I said HTML does not care about white space so the more if I push this, this paragraph is still here although it cares about the first page because yes there has to be a space but the rest it doesn't really care much about the rest so you can just type and type and type and give it up and tap and tap but it doesn't move it just you know just comes back to that same position so the next one if we add a particular um, um content and we want to we want to display it in italics like we want to emphasize on the tag so what part the uh tag do we use use the em tag the emphasis tag the emphasis tag makes you display your word and emphasize on them in italics so if you can see this you see that this is slightly tilted to the to the right so tell you that is emphasized on this is the work of the em tags the em tag makes it easy for you to do this so the next one i'll be showing you is um the button tag what is the button tag used for the button tag is used to create buttons just say uh, button so you have your button so this is our button the button does nothing now because you have not told it okay do this okay go here okay go that way okay go this way so that's why the button tag is just that way so until you add maybe our css and javascript for styling the button tag you just have to remain like this now here's another one we have list there are actually two types of list in HTML. you have your ul and ol your ul is on that list and your ol on that list so i'm going to be using the ul first the ul uh, means on other list so I can add li's so li means list item so li and four so I can say item I can just copy it not, not to waste our time I can just copy it and put it in each and every one of these stacks so we can see it so if you notice you will see that we have items in each and every one of these tags with dots now i'll show you the difference between the year tag and the oil tag so you have your ol your oil so you can see the same li item and copy this to li control c and paste so if you look at this um well you see that it's numbered ordered list from one two three four why the ul is not numbered just giving it bullets but basically most people don't use ol ol is really using web pages as most people don't use it they prefer to use the ul because you can use your ul for navigation on your on your website like your home about and so on and so forth so the your ol is really used on your web page so this is these are the types of lists that we have the ordered list and the uh on ordered list so we know the difference between the two of them so as we move further in this tutorial we'll be seeing more of them so now the last but not the least that i'll show you is the anchor tag the anchor tag a is used for creating links so i can use for creating links from 
one page to another page so I can just say click me click me now it shows click me and I just put ash here because we don't have anywhere the page is going to so this ash and um, pound sorry pounds is to refresh the page anytime you click on click me and anchor tags has a default standing now of um, blue color and a text declaration of underline so your anchor tags are used to link pages together from let's say you click your own to go to about uh, a link to carry to about a link to carry to to our services link to carry to contact us and so on and so forth this is the brain behind it the anchor tag is the brain behind it so as you can see if i click this now it just refreshes the page there's no way for the anchor tag to go so basically this is everything you need to know about basic html we'll be moving to css very soon i hope you enjoyed the video and please try to click on the like button down if you enjoyed the video thank you